All right, so what I like to do is uh, drain as much of that water, broth, or saline, or whatever they put into it. I mean, that keeps it nice and moist and juicy, and that's good and stuff. But you got to remember that water, that's going to take away all the flavor of whatever you want to use, be it a mayo base or a vinaigrette. Get all that extra drippings out. Give it a good squeeze. Let it sit for like 30 seconds, you know. All right, so what I like to do is mince my onion. The important thing is when you're cutting, do a claw. See that way? Unless you go over your knuckles, you cannot cut yourself unless you go like this way too. So, just go like this. All right, let your knuckles grind it, you see. You have nice, even, consistent cuts. And you cut it like this, the onion. That way you can go like this, you turn it to the side, and you just do it to the other way. And see like that? Look at that. Nice and dice. If you could do finer, it becomes mince. If you could do large dice, you just change the chop. Alright, you want to cut the celery the same way, nice and dice. Now you're probably thinking, Mike, wait, onion, celery? I thought you were supposed to use um, pickle relish. That's the southern version. This is the northern version, and I thought this would go good with my vinaigrette. I forgot to add this in the picture of the ingredients. Um, tuna goes great with a little bit of spice, alright? It helps, brings that flavor out. So what I like to do to make my salads a little bit more snazzier, a little bit more kick and flavor and just crunchiness, put some salad topping in it. It's got everything, carrots, a little bacon, some seeds. All right, so I'm going with Ken's Simple Vinaigrette because Publix had a BOGO and I had some coupons. So you want to just put just a little bit just so you could coat. Pretty hard to do this one-handed, but you know. All right, looks like it could use a little bit more. All right. All right. So, greenage in there. All right. That should be enough. For two wraps for old Sheffy and that should keep them tidy up alright alright so all my years of the culinary experience my burrito sandwich wrap skills, not the best. So, uh, please keep the comments to yourself. But, so, just get a nice good amount. Not too much. Probably just use a little bit more. So, you're probably thinking, what can you do to add, to make this even better? Well, you can add cheese. A lot of people know that Swiss and a sharp cheddar is good with tuna. But you know what I liked that gives me a little difference? Provolone. All right. Get on the bias. Yeah. 
Get some chips or some veggies, carrot sticks, celery sticks. And be a good little snack meal. All right, so Chef P. Gob here, he's got a little mealy. He's going to go uh, watch some more of that new uh, Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare Cold War. Looks amazing. Love that little zombie thing at the end. I'm going to be working my uh, my butt off at the job, trying to get me that game as soon as I can. And um, hopefully get the system too. Maybe uh, we could game online, all right? Chef P. Gob out of the kitchen. Be the ornate drop for you. Enjoy.